Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. A couple of things I want to do today is I want to get a stick to make a walking stick out of. And uh, I usually use a trekking pole from a pair of cross country skis, but um, it's kind of low, like it's only about a little higher than waist high. So I want to get something that's probably about eye level high and uh, I'll wrap some cordage around the handhold part of it. Well, I think I just found a maple that might work well for my walking stick. So I think I'll cut it about there, just below that Y. Or like a handle maybe and then I'll take it up take it up about two meters or six feet and that should do it brought a little pocket saw here I knew I was going to do a lot of cutting so I would just uh, need a pocket saw not the big saw. So this is only like six inches, maybe not even six inches, maybe five inch blade. I think this is going to do just fine. I'm just going to cut it right here. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if that's in the camera view or not. But I'm going to cut it right there. And that should give me a long enough stick. This will be good. It's still a little long. Might shorten it up a little bit, either at that end or at this end. I don't know if I want to put my hand here. Or I want it shorter and put my hand here. If I put my hand here, it'll be right over this knot. If I put my hand here, it'll be right below the knot. Well, anyway, I'm going to take this, strip all the bark off of it, let it dry, wrap some cordage on it, on the handle, probably stain it as well. May as well do a good job of it. Anyway, off to the shelter. Oh, hey there, YouTubers. Well, it's been a couple of days since I cut this stick out in the woods, and uh, since then, I've stripped the bark off, and I let it dry a couple of days in the sun. And now what I'm doing is I'm just filing down these burrs. And I've got two types of sanding sponges here. One is fine, and the other one is medium. And uh, so what I'm going to do is sand this until it's smooth. 
and then it'll be ready for staining. Looks like it's gonna rain today. Maybe it's gonna rain within the next half hour. So I don't know how much longer I'll be outside doing this, but anyway, that's the idea. I'm gonna just sand them down and get it ready. I've already cut it to the right length. So that's just about eye level, maybe a little taller. Nice, as I said before, I'm gonna put some cordage right here. Just gonna wrap some cordage around it just to give me a I don't know, better grip, right? and technically another spare length of cordage. Now this is a little bit thinner than I had thought it would be. It'll look thicker with the bark on it. But anyway, I think it'll do. It'll be good for uh, walking over, you know, treacherous areas where you always want to have two points of contact with the ground. And uh, it's also good for moving bushes out of the way or branches from hitting me in the face. You know, so walking sticks are, are quite good to have out in the woods. And some people even use them for defensive purposes. But anyway, we'll see. I gotta get back to work on this. So once it's all smooth, I'll get back to you and uh, we'll see about staining it. Well, as it turns out, using just that medium grit sanding block was enough. because It's nice and smooth now. Yeah, that's nice and smooth. Okay, so the next step is staining. I checked my basement out and just to see what I had in stock and all I could find was this. It's Minwax and the color is Bombay Mahogany. Now I don't want it to be as dark as mahogany. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on and take it off immediately just to see if that leaves enough of a color. And uh, if it does, well then that's fine. If it doesn't, I'll add a little bit more. Okay, so I wasn't gonna risk getting stain all over that wooden bench. So I'm gonna do it here in my barn. And uh, what I'm gonna use for applicators are these cotton balls and a rag just to uh, wipe off the excess. And of course I'm gonna wear rubber gloves. need any more than a couple of those. Oh yeah, that's not too dark at all. Anyway, this Minwax has a polyurethane component. So you stain and protect at the same time, all in one step. I might actually need a couple of coats of this. Now 
I don't know if you can hear the birds. But I can. Sounds nice. Robins, grackles. We even have some finches hovering around. As I mentioned earlier, this stick turned out to be thinner than I thought it was going to be. So, uh, it ends up being too thin for my liking. I'll just make another one. I think it'll be alright though. It's about the same thickness as the uh, bamboo um, cross country ski poles that I normally use. Normally I'd turn off the camera during this boring part, but um, I don't want to get any stain on the camera. I didn't read the label on the can, so I don't know how long it's going to take to dry. But I'll leave it in the barn here, just so that it doesn't get rained on. That's about it for now. Get rid of these gloves, and then I can turn off the camera. You don't want to get your fingertips up on your wrist. There. There, managed it. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit here for a while. I'll check it again in a couple hours just to see if it's tacky and uh, hopefully it won't take too long to dry. I don't think I put too much on, but uh, we'll see you then. Here. Well, it's time to wrap some cordage on the handle of this walking stick. As you can see, it's quite a bit darker than the last time you saw it. It's because I put a second coat on, but it's nice and dry now. Not tacky at all. So I'm going to wrap this cordage on it. So I've decided to wrap the cordage along with this section right here. Just for a handhold and that will leave some at the top. When you only have one hand, tape becomes pretty much indispensable. It acts as another hand. Okay, the reason why I created this loop is so that when I wrap it around and around and around and around and around 
all the way down to here. I can pass the end through this loop and then I can take this end and pull it up and what it'll do is it'll pull some of the cord up inside and then I can just cut it off on both ends and it won't leave any knots or uh, any cord hanging out. So now that I have that secured in place, all I have to do is just start wrapping it. And you want to wrap it quite tight. So then it doesn't slip. The first few rounds are probably the most critical. The cord is a little shorter than I was hoping. But anyway, it'll do for the purpose of this demonstration. Okay, so now I'm going to hold this in place while I remove this tape. Find the end here. I'm going to pass the end of this string through this loop. that, continuing to hold tight, and I'm going to release the cord up here, by removing this tape, So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull on this cord to tighten up that loop. Let me make sure I don't spill my coffee. Okay, that was pretty snug. Just going to go get a pair of pliers to grab hold of this and pull it harder. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm back with a pair of pliers. Just gonna grab that tail end, brace myself, oh, I better move my coffee again. Okay. Grab that tail end. Just gonna butt that up against the side of this seat here and give this a pull. Now as you can see at the other end, the loop has come down and it just needs to grab the end of that cord. So I'm just going to hold that snug while I pull some more on this. start pulling it underneath because it's just attaching there. Okay, so now if you look carefully, I'm just going to zoom in here. starting to slide underneath those cords there. It's quite thick and it was tight. There, I think that's secure enough. All we need to do 
Let's take a sharp knife or a razor and just carefully trim the end off. Just like that. And at this end too. And we're done. Nice textured handhold. There. Done. So now my forearm is pretty close to level. It's not up here where my hand would get tired or down here where my back would get sore. I think it's going to be just fine. So, till next time. This is Muskrat Jim, signing out. Muskrat survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to click the bell to receive notifications of newly uploaded videos on this channel.